not talking about the water conservation. Conserve water, conserve life. Conservation of water, the critically, the of fresh water for a sentence of human life, coupled with scarcity warrants the recognition of water conservation to be the highest national priority. And the choice of conservation technology due care shall be exercised to select the most appropriate technology, which has the proven record of performance, is the economically viable option, has the potential to generate multi-benefits and is environmentally friendly. It is recognized that large annual season variability of fresh water availability make it necessary to build large dams for system augmentation with sensors of all feder uh, federating units, build small and medium dams for local and regional use, build check dams and delay action dams for recharge of aquifers, uh, aquifers and to reduce the flow velocities and erosions, recharge the underground aquifers during floods and surplus water flow periods for later use. The water conservation plan shall include reuse and recycling of municipal and industrial wastewater effluents after appropriate treatment at source, adoption of rainwater harvesting technology, adoption of water conservation techniques and technologies at the farm level, and adoption of technology for sustainable use of drainage water in agriculture, horticulture, and forestry subsectors. It is a picture of the residential indoor uses of water. You can see the maximum uses in washrooms, 26.8%, then for washing area, 21.7% washing clothes, and then shower, faucet, bath, and dishwasher. Tips on water conservation. Use a water efficient use uh, flush toilets, fine and repair leaks, take a quick shower, convert to water energy saving faucets, avoid wasting running water as possible, use an energy efficient washing machines, Water plants during the coolest part of the day and clean driveways and sidewalks with a broom instead of hose. So why it's important to conserve water? To prepare for future droughts, to guard against rising cost and potential conflicts, to preserve the environment, to make water available for recreational purposes and to strengthen the communities. So every drop counts and reduce your use. Drinking water and sanitation. Plans and initi initiatives shall be undertaken to provide access to clean and safe drinking water and sanitation facilities to the urban and rural population of the country. Full financial sustainability shall be aimed at the urban water supply and sanitation system to effective reduction in wastage, theft, and non-revenue water allocation. The rural water supply and sanitation subsidies shall be priced at affordable rates. Under no circumstances shall the quality of drinking water, urban or rural, be allowed to fall below the specific standards. Each agency responsible for delivery to such a services shall prepare a quality monitoring plan and shall be responsible for their rigorous enforcement. The sources of water, surface as well as underground, shall be diligently protected from contamination through enforcement of legislation for controlling water pollution in coordination with provinces. In remote areas of the country, solar desalination of water will be promoted to provide the community safe drinking water. The groundwater levels have dropped to alarming depths and falling further, potentially reaching the same cell and ancient sea water level in coming new years. Alternative sources of surface water need to be urgently developed and adequate groundwater recharge ensured. Drinking water and sanitation plans will be adopted in line with the national drinking water and sanitation policies and sustainable development goals. WHO's program of wash, water sanitation, and hygiene. Uh, basically, safe wash is not only a prerequisite to health, but contributes to livelihood, school attendance, and dignity, and helps to create resilient communities living in a healthy environment. So, assessment of water and sanitation in healthcare facilities includes the water supply, hand hygiene, drinking water, sanitation, waste management, and cleanliness. Human rights to water. It should be sufficient, safe, acceptable, accessible, and affordable. The human rights to water is between 50 to 100 liters of water per person per day are needed to ensure most basic needs. The water source has to be within 1000 meters from home. Water cost should not exceed 3% of household income and the collection time should not exceed 30 minutes. Water rights and obligations. All citizens of Pakistan have the right of equal and affordable access to clean drinking water and appropriate sanitation facilities. According to the constitution, the 
the, uh, the provinces have jurisdiction over the rivers and are responsible for the maintenance of flood protection dikes, flood control and drainage. However, due to interprovisional irrigation network, the federal government will continue to oversee the overall management and distribution of river water amongst provinces through IRSA, which is Indus River System Authority. All users of water, public or private, shall have the right to receive water of specified quality at their premises of use. The provisional government shall be responsible for the management of groundwater as provisional government rules and regulations. Provinces are responsible for routine repair and maintenance of flood protection dikes, flood fighting and drainage. However, in case of major catastrophe, like 2010 and 22 floods, the federal government will provide supplementary funds in addition to 50% which the federal government has already agreed to provide. Sustainable water infrastructure. The water related infrastructure must be physical and functional sustainably for its design life. Professional standards should be followed in the field of investigations, designs, construction, specification, and product quality, operation procedures, and maintenance provisions. This infrastructure shall be so uh, ingenious, constructed, and operated that each component serves its design purpose without undue wastage of water. The value of sustainable water infrastructure, the key to implementing sustainable solution is evaluating and designing with efficient and reliable technologies, while also leveraging the financial incentive that often subsidize the most sustainable solutions. And it defines the cost to include life cycle assessment of risk, long longevity, and adaptability, and environmental benefits. And using these principles, we can arrive at effective water infrastructure solution that also enrich the local community. So, providing raw water for domestic needs in the social food, security, conserve water resources, control the destructive force of water and climate change. These are the core elements of water resource management and water uh, development for water infrastructure. This is in me and sustainable uh, favor. You can see there's different work things. First is leadership. Second, the quality of the life and the natural world then the risk and resilience and the resource allocation. So all the framework is dependent on all these things. SWIM. SWIM is sustainable water infrastructure management. It includes for us to build, then the monitor, control, and renew. Sustainable infrastructure leads to sustainable system and then leads to sustainable communities. World Water Day is being celebrated on March 22. These are the uh, basic information uh, by, on the WHO site. It is the, uh, the way ahead for wash acceleration. This data was collected from 21, 21 countries uh, for the, to, uh, to see the gas we need to fill to get uh, SDG 6 water and sanitation by 2030. And unfortunately, the funding for wash is still not sufficient. The next is uh, for safe drinking water targets. In 2021, in four people lack safely managed drinking water, but in 23, this rate will be 1.6 billion people which still lack safe drinking water. So to uh, eliminate inequalities, progress and moves 25 times faster in the urban areas globally, it is required 23% fragile context in 10% developed countries and 5% faster in rural, uh, rural areas globally. Uh, like safe drinking water, one document is on safe sanitation and for this purpose uh, in 2023.6 billion people were uh, not having safe man were not managed and by 23 2.8 billion people will still lack safe sanitation at home if this all progress has been made and for the basic hygiene again uh, we need to work so far four times faster in rural areas five times in fragile context seven times in least developed countries to achieve this goal by 2030. Talking about the recent updates. It was a parks and water resource management, ensuring water security for sustainable development. Uh, in this article, it was a Pakistan is already uh, water becoming a water uh, scarce country. And this article argues that surface and subsurface water in Pakistan is depleting sharply. And it, if not addressed in time, has the potential of becoming the biggest national security problem. And the policy recommendation highlights the effective integration of smart technology in addressing multidimensional water issues and efficient water governance for ensuring water security. 
it is a water pakistan water partnership it was a global uh, water partnership in uh, uh, south asia in which in the third area these uh, portable on the wheels uh, uh, water collectors were given to the uh, public now it's time for mcqs with rapidly growing population, Pakistan is heading towards a situation of water sh uh, shortage. Per capita, surface water availability has declined from 5 to 6 zero cubic meters per year in 1951 to around 1,000 cubic meters in 2016. This quantity is likely to drop further to 860 cubic meters by 2025. What is the minimum water requirement to avoid food and health implications of food scarcity? Anyone? The correct option is A, which is 1,000 cubic meter, one capita. The objectives of national water policy is to take recognize of the emerging water crisis and provide an overall policy framework and guidelines for a comprehensive plan of action. It is based on the concept of integrated water resource management, indus water management, water and sanitation management, and integrated water management. The correct option is A, integrated water resource management. The continuous increase in population growth and rapid urbanization has pushed Pakistan into category of stressed country. Which of the following is not the concern related to water sector? Dams approaching to the end of design lifespan, depletion of groundwater and deterioration of quality, no effort being made for desalination of drinking water, lag or poor condition of tubers all over the country. Sorry? No, the correct answer is D. It is not the concern, lack of poor condition of tubers. The national water policy lays down a broad policy frame sets of principles for water security on the basis of which the provisional governments can formulate their respective master plans and projects for water conservation, water development, and water management. Which of the following is not the objective of national water policy? Improving availability, reliability, and quality of freshwater resources, rainwater and flood management, hydropower development, securing coastal areas of Pakistan, and the use of waste water. The correct answer is D, securing coastal areas of Pakistan. Economic water scarcity is caused by lack of investment in infrastructure technology to draw water from rivers and other water sources or efficient human capacity to satisfy the demands for water. The national water policy can provide a major response to the emerging water crisis if it receives a high level of political support, it provides a set of agreed national targets for water resource management, it leads to a sustained provisional commitment to increase public and private resources for the water sector. It creates an institutional framework that can address present deficiencies. Delta. Let's see. To make better climate future, climate change mitigation is action to limit climate change. Which of the following is the most appropriate instrument of mitigation against the impact of climate change on water resources? Extraction and use of groundwater storage of surplus rainwater, desalinization of seawater, and reuse of wastewater. B is the correct option, storage of surplus rainwater. Pakistan is becoming a water scarce country. Policy seeks to respond to its water crisis. The national water policy highlighted water light chain obligation. Which of the following is not true regarding it? The provisional government is responsible for the maintenance of flood protection dikes, flood control and drainage. The federal government oversees the overall management and distribution of river water among provinces. The provisional government shall be responsible for the management of groundwaters. Federal government is responsible for routine repair and maintenance of flood protection dikes, flood fighting, and drainage. D is the correct option. The criticality of freshwater from human life, along with scarcity, necessities, recognition of water conservation to be the highest national priority. This water conservation can be done by all the following except. Building of large and for system augmentation, recharge of underground aquifers during surplus water flow, provision of surface terms or efficient irrigation technology with irrigation controllers. D is the correct option. Water conservation is the practice of using water efficiently to reduce unnecessary water usage, which of the following is an effective way of conserving water. Increase food waste, eat less meat, turning off tops and boiling of drinking water. C. No, the correct option is eat less meat because there is a lot of water in slaughterhouses and dairy and everything. So B is the correct option. Water is essential for every human being for survival and daily activities. How much liters of water is required per person per day to meet the basic needs? 20 to 30 liters, 40 to 70, 50 to 100, 100 to 150, 150 to 200 liters. 
says that correct option 5200 liters. This is my key. This is a reference, RU cube length. And thank you so much.